And the burning blisters on my feet will call To hold me as I'm close to fall Away from the home of your arms I stray Off the radar and into harm's way Now I know the only compass that I need Oh, is the one that leads back to you Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know. You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change. I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change, and it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens, and... Poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, well, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but... In the morning, we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies.
Howdy, Paul. Are you ready? Let's haul out. Let's go! How you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan's stead. How do you know these ranchers? Come on, Jack! Business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I uh, know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that... That life, it's over now. There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. There you go. John Marston. There's a face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Yeah. All right, Jack. You're gonna have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that, no problem. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or, trying to at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson? Boo! So, is this your boy? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello? Ah, the arrogance of youth. He gets a little fur on his lip and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. <laughs> 
Must take after his father. Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's move here, my four-legged friends! How's your wife? She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Looks like you got him under control. I best get back to Paul. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for Call everything. Me funny, you don't. Come on, boy. Jack! We need to move him across the river. Yeah! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Move! Come on! Keep it moving! Move it up! Yeah! Let's go! You're doing a good job, son! Just lead them straight up the hill towards home! Will do, Paul! Forward! Get a move on! Move! Move! Come on! Let's go! Move on! Move on! Move! Move! Let's go! Whoa! Move it! Jack, this don't look right. Stay back, son! I'll hold them off! I think that's all of us. Jack! Wait there! I'm coming! You alright? You're not hurt, are you? Alright, let's round up the stragglers and get moving. Easy. Where you taking them? Jack! Head left up the road towards home! I know where I'm going, Paul! Stay together, you dumb animals! Get going! Come on! No stop! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's move here, my four-legged friends! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Move! Come on! Keep it moving! Move it up! Yeah! Forward! Get a move on! Move! Move! Come on! Let's go! Move on! Move on! Yeah! Move! Move! Let's go! Now lead them into the pen! Stay together, you dumb animals! Get going! Come on! No stopping! Let's go! Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! Nice work, son! We made it! You did real good out there! Go on! Hit your horse and wait for me by the stable! Come on! Whoa there! 
That's a fine herd we got ourselves. So we're ranchers? Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. Be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done OK. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. Come on! Scat! Shh. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply, stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. 
About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Well, uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. Well, come on, man. Let's get going. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while well, you were off cavorting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Pawnee McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, First thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Marshall. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting unannounced. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. A better way to live, but it was just a lie. Oh, you saw before they did. Maybe, but they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John, and they hated you for it. Where'd they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. So, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland. I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life. And for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered.
ma'am.
Bastard. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. <laughs> I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Let's go! Come on, let's go! When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. Why are you so... Come on! There's lots of things I ain't done with you. You don't seem too excited about this. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You've never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. Jack, he's on to something. And she'd hunt goats with them and everything. It sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. I thought you and Ma wanted me to read. We do. So long as you're not, well, hiding from the real world. It's a little late for that, Paul. Now, when we get near him, hang back and stay quiet. I'll show you how it's done. Don't worry, I won't mess it up. Look, I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. I got two. Let's go. Come on, I'll show you how to cut the meat. Whoa there. I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, Paul. Huh? You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush it. Woo, that's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Oh, Lord, this is nasty. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Go on, Rufus. Sniff us out a couple more. Go on, Rufus. Come on. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Bob. Remember, it's all about timing. 
Wait for your moment. Don't snatch it. I know, I know. I saw how you did it. You say so. All right. When he finds him, take the lead. Go get him, boy. Stay on him, boy. Come on, Rufus. Go find him, Rufus. Go on, boy. Go on, Rufus. Whoa, whoa. There they are. Jack, come on. Cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. Hey, watch it! Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Let's go! Wait here. I'll be just a moment. Welcome. No two days are. Howdy, mister. Well, let's see what we can do for you. I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. Did you hear about Oscar? Financially embarrassed, apparently. There. That's what I got. Happy trails. All done. Let's head home. Pot for a couple days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That ain't fair. in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores.
tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. Come on. The dog will soon sniff them out. I can shoot. You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? That's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man. The next you tell me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Is it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear. If it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make it, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. Yeah. What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Jack, he's found a scent. Don't give up now. Let's keep moving. Go. Stay close, Jack. Oh, what are you doing? Let's go. Bob, is Uncle really your uncle? No. At least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. Well, why do you call him Uncle Ben? Get after him, boy. Oh, there. Come on. Come on! That's it, boy! There they are! Good boy, Rufus! Let's go! Look out! Come on! Son, go on now, Rufus. Where the rest of them? You can't be tired already. Yeah, Jack, they're up ahead. Where are you? Yeah.
you doing? All right, we should head back now. We got out further than I thought. Come on. How many did we kill? They won't be after our cattle for a while. What are we doing here? Shouldn't we be going? <laughs> that was some good shooting, son. So can I go out hunting by myself now? <laughs> Hold on there, cowboy. Let's go. You ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. What are you waiting for? Let's get moving. Ah, oh, please, Pa. Are you gonna mount back up, Pa? Let's go. We'll go out again soon. Catch something nice for your ma to cook. Paul, can I ask you something? Of course! Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Ma shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe, but I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the first dude's dead. No, and I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. Sometimes it ain't pretty. And in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who attacked our cattle? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. You know, we could be outlaws, you and me. Come on. Wait, let me catch you up. Slow down. Turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. John! John! 
What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a-hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Go! Come on, easy up now! Where's Jack? Easy! Come on! Find Jack, Rufus! Rufus! Easy. What you got, boy? Can you smell something? Find Jack, Rufus! on your own. You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Now hold tight. Are you all right? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What'd I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, Maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Yeah! 
What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Pa. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. After a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad things. Things nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you had. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up! Oh. Oh. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than... You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. Do this together. Let's move him out! Keep it moving! Get going! Come on! Move it up! Hey! Yeah! Come on! Let's get him out to pasture! Move! Come on! Move it! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Get a move on! Move! Let's go! Yeah! Stay together, you dumb animals! Keep it moving! Come on! Come on! Come on! No stopping! Let's go! Move! Move! Let's move here, my four-legged friends! Forward! Come on! Let's go! Move! Move on! Move on! Keep it moving! Get going! Come on! Move it up! Go! That's it! Move! Come on! Stop 
Stop the herd! again. your pound of flesh from me today. Get up now! Looking at old man. There's some mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna mount up, kid? All right, let's get after him. Get up. Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened to what you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on. I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. I see. 
see him. Come on. Don't let go. Hold it steady. Easy. Lean into it. Relax now. Nearly there. Whoa there. Steady now. John! Calm down now! <laughs> there you go! Might as well see if you can get us another one. There Come you on go! Now. Easy! I got this one for you. Fiddle loop there, John! That's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ranch. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir. I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. 
By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Pa. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Pa. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh... You ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! John! Come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Christ alive! You best get that gun ready, old man. Come on now! No move! We ain't done nothing! Ain't your life worth living? Back the hell off! It's me you want, not this! Come on, then! Watch out here. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? We'll take you all on. You're about to die, friend. Uncle, are you all right? Damn it. I'll be hit. None of you bastards are leaving here alive!
there, Uncle! I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and... <coughs> Don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh, my God! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Make a run for the barn! Let's go! Move! All right, you're covered! Now go! Go! Now! Quick! Run for it! All right, you're covered! Now go! Go! Run away and maybe I won't kill you! Now! Quick! Run for it! It's over! You hear me? Stop me! How did you think it was gonna end? Hey, come on. Now listen, Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worrying about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! <laughs>
Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Work your damn neck!
might look for a shirt. Hello, hello. with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, so <clears throat> why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if he won a results. Won himself a chest full of metal. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy getting to take it easy. Fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> Thank you for the information, mister. What's going on with you? Name's Clint Ackley. I'll be your driver. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. I want rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine.
like you showed me, Paul. Hey there, mister. How's the hunt? Pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. I didn't know him. He's my brother. He's gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter that come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper.
You like the plate, do you? Excuse me, you Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father! Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him! I saw you! You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog! And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash! Now get out of here before I kill you as well! I ain't going nowhere, old man.
And now I know the only compass that I need is the one that leads back to you. And I know the only compass that I need oh, is the one is back to you And the burning blisters on my feet will call To hold me as I'm close to fall Away from the home of your arms I stray Off the radar and into harm's way Now I know the only compass that I need is the one that leads back to you. Coffee waves the hand again Coaxing letters from the pen But words just sit like empty scribbles Such antique 
caffeinated riddles Now I know the only compass that I need is the one leads back to you. Now I know the only compass that I need is the one leads back to you. Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie Where the coyotes wail and the wind blows free And when I die, don't bury me Neath the western sky on the lone prairie Oh, bury me not On the lone prairie These words came soft And painfully From the pallid lips Of a youth who lay on his dying bed at the break of day. But we buried him there on the lone prairie where the rattlesnakes hiss and the wind blows free. In a shallow grave, no one to grieve Neath the western sky, on the lone prairie Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie These words came soft and painfully from the pallid lips of a youth who lay on his dying bed at the break of day on his dying bed at the break of day